hey you guys good morning how are you i just got up got ready i'm about to go to a coffee shop to get some work done and i really been wanting either a matcha or a latte so i'm not sure which one i'm gonna get yet but i know that i want one of them and i'm hoping that this place that i'm going to is good because they only have i think cafes in new york and they just opened one near me so i'm really hoping that they have something good that i can you know a munch on this morning and then i do need to go to zara because i'm going on my trip next week to vegas and then i'm going a few days later once i get back to new york so i don't have anything to wear for either one of those trips so i might go to zara I might not I might just order something online but i'm gonna see how i feel just because it's so cold outside you guys like i feel like we skipped fall and went straight to winter where i am um and i just don't like that like i didn't get any true fall weather like none so yeah i'm gonna go get some work done hopefully go to the store find a cute outfit if i can't then i'm gonna come back home and tidy up my place because i need to clean my closet i have a lot of stuff that needs to get done and i need to go christmas shopping because i have like no like christmas ornaments in my house so it is early in the morning so we'll probably do that in the afternoon but yeah I'm about to go to this coffee shop first and yeah that's gonna be our first stop coffee shop trying to do some shopping but i couldn't find anything and i feel like this is the same thing that happens to me all the time when i go to zara whenever i'm shopping for something specific they never have anything but then when i'm shopping just on a regular day and i'm not looking for anything particular they always have all of this nice stuff that is just so beautiful and i'm like why don't y'all have this stuff when i'm actually looking for something but yeah, I couldn't find nothing um, to wear for either one of my trips. So I'm going to have to order something probably today or tomorrow at the latest because with shipping and the holidays, like who knows when my stuff will come. So I'm about to chill for a little bit um, and then I'm going to go back out because I need to do some Christmas shopping. But I wanted to come home, eat lunch, watch some TV and just chill for a little bit, edit some more videos before I go back out for the day. But I'm not going to be out that long because I want to come home and like really relax. I want to order some takeout, watch a good movie. Football games are about to start coming on. So I'm not going to be out too, too long. So I'm about to change my clothes um, to like a sweatsuit or whatever. Because I kind of want to take this off and put on something a little bit more comfortable. Because even though like this is comfy, my sweatpants or my joggers are a little bit like fitted. And I kind of want to put on like some tights or something. So... I'm going to change, then we're going to go shopping, come home, and yeah, I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night once I get back, but that's it. But a few days ago, I was watching the latest episode of The Real Housewives of Potomac because Potomac is like one of my favorite housewives. 
I feel like they were starting to get on my nerves the last two seasons, but they got the right people off the show and they got like some new people. Like Stacy, I love Stacy. Like they can call Stacy boring, they can call Stacy stiff, but Stacy is a great addition to the Real Housewives of Potomac. But a couple of people, they need to get off the show. I'm like, I'm so confused as to why Ashley is still on the show. I know we didn't want Robin on there and they did get Robin off the show and the show is I feel like 10 times better this season but like Ashley has no reason to really be on the show so I'm highly confused as to why they keep bringing her but I feel like Stacey, Kiana um, were great additions, Jazzy was a great addition, I wish they would tell us a little bit more about what's going on with her storyline with her boyfriend because it seems a little off but I think they'll go into it a little bit more in the season. But then Mia and Jacqueline are also pissing me off and I just feel like that whole storyline just doesn't need to happen um, with her kids and her husband having like mental health issues and all of that. Like that don't need to be in your storyline. But this season is much better than last season because last season was horrible. And I'm also mad that they canceled The Real Housewives of Dubai. I just saw that they will not be returning for a third season which is really unfortunate because i really love the real housewives of dubai like it was i feel like it would have been like my number one i feel like it would have been dubai potomac and that's it because atlanta has fallen off too like i just i don't care about atlanta no more but yeah they need to get to get it together and they need to they did better with getting robin off the show and i know candace left but i still love candace but yeah, I don't know. They needed a shake up and it's much better this season because I was going to be out of it next season if they put the same people back. But yeah, y'all, let me go and change my clothes so I can get out of here. But really quick before we head out, I wanted to show you guys this toner that I've been using for my skin and it's been working so well and the results, I have seen so much better results since switching to this toner. So it's by The Ordinary, it's their glycolic acid exfoliating toner and it comes in a bottle like this. I have one of the larger sizes trying to let it focus but it's so so good so if you're looking for a new toner i highly recommend this if you know anybody who's into skincare who's looking for a new toner add this on their christmas wish list your christmas wish list but it's so good it's so good and before that i was just using my regular witch hazel toner and it was like working but very slow results and I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. So I wanted to try something different. And I've been hearing so many good reviews on this. So if you are looking for like a new toner, you guys, like my skin has taken like such a great turn since using this. Before my products were working, but it was like a little slow or it was like a, one product that I wasn't really feeling like that. But just using this and their hyaluronic acid that comes in like a glass jar, I love it like love it like look at my skin so you should definitely add this on your holiday wish list
y'all so i just got back in the house i'm about to show you what i purchased i purchased some really cute christmas items i didn't go all out so we'll eventually do like another haul when i buy my christmas tree the ornaments and all of that cute stuff but for now i just want to show you some of the quick things that i got just to put in my house to make it look way more festive than what it even is and by the way i went to multiple stores and forgot the main thing that i was going for and that was the hot chocolate because we were supposed to make hot chocolate tonight so because i'm very forgetful that's gonna have to be in one of the other videos but we're just gonna do a quick haul and y'all can see missy can you get down can you please she don't care so the first thing that i got was this apple cider candle if y'all can see it's so first of all it's so adorable the decoration on the side is just really pretty it definitely gives holiday definitely gives christmas and i just thought this cute little ornament on the side nailed it for me is definitely giving holidays and it smells so good it smells just like apple cider i know some people don't like fall scents but i really do especially during this time of year and it just smells so perfect and i love apple cider so like why not but i thought this was so cute so it's by a company called proper or paper white um candle company so if you're interested in like a new fall scent this candle is like so good and it has hints of cranberry red apples and also warm cinnamon the perfect warm scent and it's just so cute so festive i love it the next thing that i got was this really pretty christmas mug and it has an s on it in gold which i love which my name is simone so the s is like perfect for me and yeah i thought this was really cute really holiday-ish you can see it has the stocking stuffer on the front and it has gold trim it's just very beautiful and i also bought this because it's very minimal too so it's not like one of the crazy christmas mugs and i can pull this out all year round use it in the summer spring um whenever especially because it's just so minimal and so pretty like it definitely gives christmas because of the stocking stuffer but it's also a very minimal coffee mug or tea mug as well so that's why i got this but yeah i love 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 it very cute so the next item that i'm going to show you is my favorite item that i purchased today so i got this really beautiful reindeer it's embellished it's silver it has so much glitz and glam and i love glitz and glam i thought this was so pretty the lighting because i'm in front of the window you can't really get too well but you can see that it's so pretty and it just sparkles and sparkles and sparkles very holiday so i'm actually going to put this outside of my door uh, so that way when you walk past my apartment you can just see how pretty and beautiful it is and how festive it is so i love this so this next item that i'm going to show you is one that i'm also putting outside in front of my door it's this really cute white and silver christmas tree i don't know if you can see the writing but if i let's see so it says it's the most wonderful time of the year because it is and it says that in silver i thought this was really pretty and then at the bottom you can see it has like this really cute small wreath with the little embellishments and i just love it so it goes perfect with the reindeer the reindeer is going to go in the front this is going to go in the back and i just thought that those two together will look so good and it has this really cute embellished or glitter star at the top but yeah this is what it looks like all together i wish you guys could see the writing but the sun is like glaring so bad because it's sunset but yeah i thought this was really cute so i got that so a few more things to show you so i also got this sign that says joy with the reef at the bottom and a really cute bow and it's in silver and i'm gonna put this on my kitchen island i thought this would be really cute in the middle with the candle to just make it really homey but also really festive in my kitchen so i love this so much i thought this was so cute and it was only eight bucks eight bucks for this beautiful 
absolutely stunning so i love it and also this apartment this is gonna be my first christmas here too so i'm like starting fresh all new ornaments all new christmas stuff so i just wanted something that was me really simple straight to the point so i just love this so much these really cute christmas stove mats or kitchen tiles um i thought these were really pretty too i love the wreath with the red bow and then it has like some red tiles as well and i just love it so it has like the bows and everything in the front and then it has like the accent color which is that bold red so i just love this to go along with the joy sign and then the candle like you guys wow wow like i can't wait to get my tree i'm really excited to get my tree because i feel like once i get that it'll just bring everything together everything will look so so good together so i'm just really excited for the holiday as you can tell and i still have so much more stuff to get you guys but we'll get it it's only the beginning of december and i usually keep my tree up until february to be completely honest with you like i feel like january is still like a very festive month with new year's and everything so yeah i'm not taking my tree down till february so we'll be okay i just caught a shorty off a fence dog just threw on a hoodie it's a print shop way that i've been living unconventional i'm just trying to make it to the end you know certain things just started getting tense up think we need to have a son adventure i could be a man but maybe down the road right now i would rather see my heart turn to bone rather see my heart turn crystal what's up y'all so it's so much later in the day i picked up my dinner so we're about to eat i couldn't decide if i wanted japanese vietnamese or chinese food because i was craving shrimp pho so i was gonna get vietnamese but then i wanted sushi so i'm like okay let me go to the japanese spot but then i wanted some really spicy noodles so i'm like hmm the chinese spot might be better because they have like this really good spicy shrimp domain and i really wanted it and i got a few other things too Plus the football game is on and I really just wanted something that was going to comfort me. So I felt like this was gonna comfort me. I didn't want nothing healthy tonight. So we're about to eat. So I have the noodles, they're so hot. But look you guys, they look so, so good. And they're so spicy. Like I love my food super spicy. I don't know about you, but if it's not spicy, you can keep it. But it's, it just looks so good. I also got a shrimp egg roll. These egg rolls, the way these are wrapped are top tier. I know some states don't have this egg roll. It's normally like a paper thin egg roll. No, this is the real one, okay? If you're from the East Coast, New York, Philly, then you already know this is a top tier egg roll. At that wing. This is the pretty wing that Maxwell was talking about look how crispy this wing is so yeah my dinner is about to be so bomb i'm about to finish watching the football game and then yeah i'm gonna just chill for the rest of the night and just enjoy my night i just caught a shorty off a fence dog just threw on a hoodie it's a print shop way that i've been living unconventional i've been a few I'm